Good morning, kindly students and teachers. Good morning, K1, K2, and K3. Oh, I am so happy that we can have the chapel again. Are you ready for the chapel? Of course. Yes, let's start the chapel. But don't forget to pray. Let us start the chapel with prayer. Fold your hands. Close your eyes. Are you ready to pray? Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the beautiful morning. Thank you for loving us and for your blessing for us. Now we are ready to start the chapel. We want to praise your name. We want to listen to your story. Help us to listen well and to sit nicely and help us to do what you say. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah, we already pray. Oh, before we listen to the Bible story, Come on, let's stand up. We are going to sing the song together. We are going to praise Jesus. Oh, I know God made me And I know God loves me And He knows what's best for me Cause he knows every single thing And I believe his promise is true Cause everything he says he will do On a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday On a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday I know God loves me Yeah, He knows What's best for me Cause He knows Every single thing And I believe His promise is true Cause everything He says He will do Oh, On a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday On a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday Are you my twin? I have twins! She looks exactly just like me! Yes! She looks exactly just like me without the hairpin! Is she my twin? Hmm? 
She looks exactly just like me. Maybe we are twins. K1, K2, and K3. Do you know what does twin mean? Hmm. Have you ever seen brothers, sisters that look alike? Do you know what is twins? Twins means they born in the same time. Some twins have exactly the same appearance, but some of them, they are different. In the Bible, we also have twins. Can you guess? Good job! It's Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau, they were twins. Hmm, but they don't look alike. They were different. Let's take a look. God's story, Jacob and Esau. So part of God's story is about twin brothers, and it begins like this. Once, there were twins named Jacob and Esau, and they didn't get along. They actually started fighting before they were born. Then during birth, Esau came out first, but Jacob was holding on to his heel. That's not normal. And they even looked different. The Bible says Esau's body was covered in so much red hair, it was almost like he had clothes on. Jacob's skin was smooth. Well, they got even more different as they grew up. Esau hunted animals and spent time outside. Their dad, Isaac, was a big meat eater, so Esau was his favorite. Jacob, on the other hand, was a quiet guy who liked to stay indoors. Their mom, Rebecca, liked Jacob the best. The Bible doesn't talk much about Jacob and Esau as kids, but we do know Esau was lucky to be the oldest because he had what's called a birthright. That meant Esau would be in charge of their family, including all their money, land, and stuff. Jacob would probably have to work for his brother Esau, and their dad Isaac would give Esau a blessing, which means Isaac would ask God to take care of his oldest son Esau in an extra special way. Well, you probably think Esau was pretty excited about this, but he wasn't. In fact, one day he gave it up. He just returned from a hunting trip. Since he was out killing animals all day, he didn't have time to eat. He came home starving. Jacob was making stew, so Esau said, Quick, give me some of that stew. I'm very hungry. Now, Jacob was a little sneaky. So he didn't just share the stew with his hungry brother, which would have been nice. Instead, he said, First, sell me your birthright. And guess what? Esau said yes. It's a little like paying a million dollars for a bowl of mushy soup. We don't know why Esau did that, but the Bible says he didn't care about the birthright. We don't know why God let this happen, but the truth is we all mess up sometimes, and God still wants us to be part of his story. And that's the story of Jacob and Esau. Today we heard that Esau did not care about God's promise. Jacob did not please God either. We all sin. We don't trust God or obey His commands as we should. Jacob thought he could do tricky things to get God's promises. That was not right. But God chose Jacob to get the gifts and the promises. God chose Jacob to continue the line of promise. That is our chapel for today. Now, let us pray. Dear God, thank you for your love. Thank you for your blessings. Forgive us for all the sins that we have done, for hurting our friends and those we love. We are sorry, God. Teach us to trust you. Help us to obey and to do your commands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you K1, K2, and K3 and all teachers for joining the chapel today. We will see you in the next chapel.
next Friday. God bless you. Bye bye.